We are now joining for the prayers of adoration and confession. I would like to read a psalm to you before we begin our prayers. All of these prayers will be based around our themes for today. And we look back over the past few months and then we will look forward to see how God can help us move into a somewhat unknown and new future. This is taken from Psalm 22, written by David, from the depths of his weariness. I will praise your name before all my brothers and sisters. As your people gather, I will praise you in their midst. Lovers of God, praise him, glorify him with your praises. Stand in awe of him, for he has not despised my cries of deep despair. He is the first responder to my suffering. He did not look the other way when I was in pain. He was there all the time, listening to the song of the afflicted. I invite the poor, the weary and the broken to come and eat until they are satisfied. Bring your praises to the Lord and you will find him. Amen. Let us pray. Lord of heaven and earth, we would join with the, the psalmist in praising you for being a very present help in trouble, for being there when no human intervention can help and when no answers can be found. Thank you for being the God of the impossible, who gives hope when your spirit comes to us. And sometimes that hope can come in the form of other people, like all the workers in the NHS or in care homes and similar places. These workers gave up so much to serve the sick and dying, and we want to thank you for these dear ones. Also, Lord, we want to thank you for the breakthrough to find a vaccine against COVID-19. Thank you for all the research scientists around the world who have worked tirelessly to this end. Thank you that now there is a very tangible hope of a vaccine in sight. And finally, we would praise you, Lord, for all the good that we have seen, which has come out of this pandemic. The coming together of families, the working together of many people groups, the working together even of different nations to help one another and much, much more. Thank you, almighty and ever living God. And then we come to our Heavenly Father with our prayers of confession. Lord, at this time, we come to confess those sins which have may maybe got the better of us during the last few months in lockdown and as we emerge from it. We confess our lack of trust in you to take us through this pandemic when all looked hopeless for a time and we gave in to feelings of helplessness and fear. When we lacked patience and long suffering with our friends and family when we lacked gentleness and kindness because we felt threatened, or when we felt useless to help and unable to cope. Lord, forgive us. Please, Holy Spirit, will you bring to mind any other times when we have failed to act as you would have us act? Lord, we want to say sorry. Please help us by the Spirit's power and your grace to walk in your ways more and more. Lord, forgive us and cleanse us and give us back the peace we once had. Thank you, Lord, for your great love that you show us in restoring the weary. We bring all these prayers to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. <laughs> 